Good morning everybody, it is Gaming UK once again giving you guys another tutorial for the waifu game Discord bot and this one we're going to be taking a look at how to use a profile on the web app and how to change settings around. Let's have a look. First and foremost I want to say thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to the channel and we now have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support the channel even further make sure you guys check out the Patreon in the link in the description below i will be having a link for a introduction to that in the description as well if you guys want to support the channel that way all right so the waifu game is a if for review is a bot that can allow you to use cards to battle at other anime characters and you can show off your party as well as well as check out stats and other cool stuff so today we're going to take a look at how to see your profile and how to use your profile settings so first you do need the web app and that is waifugame.com and you do need to sign in with your discord so keep in mind that you do need to make sure you have the bot installed already and that you have your account linked to discord and the waifu game bot once again that is waifu game Dot com. So let's take a look at how to so you see your profile. There's going to be this menu button on the bottom right corner of your screen, and you're going to see this. Go all the way down, scroll all the way down to profile and wish list. In addition to our profile tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add characters to the wish list. So here is your profile settings and there's a few things that you can change you can change and your number 60 this 6451 refers to your discord number as well so your your discord number is going to be the same thing as your regular discord number setting so make sure you keep that in mind that you do need to um do you need to make sure that is correct so yes mine is correct 6451 if you guys want to add me there so label my party as band clan club or whatever this is very cosmetic and you can change it whatever you like i call it usually the fam because you guys are the Yuki fam. Display name is going to be the display name when you sign in to your web app using slash WG web. Okay. And we're going to show you guys how to change that later on. But make sure that your user, your display name is the same as your username on the, on the discord. So that everybody can recognize you. Now let's take a look at the other settings that you can play with. App content filter refers to the the what will be filtered out in terms of like blurriness. So let's say let's take a look at this. So anime, edgy, hentai, and unrestricted. Those are the four options that you are available with. Unrestricted means everything is open. Hentai means hentai things are are filtered, edgy, and so on. Okay, the so anime and edgy are my are my um things here. Hide explicit search result refers to if the search result is explicit in terms of what. The anime is if you guys do not want that make sure you guys check this by using a green green mark here click on that so otherwise so here's what it means here when enabled content that's higher rated than the content filter setting which is this one right here is hidden completely from search results otherwise it will be blurred out and remain clickable so that means that if you enable this and the content filter says anime edgy, 
it will be completely hidden from the search results when you do a wish list. But if not, it will be considered blurred out and will remain clickable. Next one, don't at me. It's very self-explanatory. The Discord bot or the or this bot, the this one, will not will not like mention you with the at symbol. Instead it will just show your username. This is to make sure that you don't get too many notifications at the same time. Mostly for that particular reason. Next one is don't spin wheel and this refers to a prize wheel that happens as part of the game. So so instead of if you do the festival which I'll t show you guys later on in another tutorial. There's this wheel mechanic that will happen. And because it's a fast wheel, you might get dizzy. So in that particular case, you could put this on for that reason. This is purely more of a preference rather than a game mechanic. Okay? And it will lag out if you, if you don't use this. So if you do want to use the don't spin wheel thing, it's okay. Performance mode. This one is a is based on more of the your your style of PC. So performance mode refers to like the graphics and all that cool stuff. This one says disable fancy glass effects animations show more clearly rarity borders so that's what this is for i usually keep this off now keep in mind if you have a low end pc like graphics and stuff like that then performance mode is available for you if you guys want that it's not required in terms of like a game mechanic but it is there for preference and accessibility option for your playing needs. I usually keep this off, but I'm going to show you how this works. Images quality is only available for those of you who are subscribers to the Patreon of Waifu Game. So I cannot show you what that is actually. And same now, the next one is called Don't Display App and iFrame. PC only. So what this is, is this. This is what happens if you actually do it in iframe. This is iframe. So it becomes an actual site like this. So if you guys want from a web app to like a wider screen, like a normal PC window, this option is for you, but this is only for those of you on the PC or Macintosh. So this is actually useful for that particular reason if you guys want a wider screen. If not, and you guys like the web app version, then you can turn this off and it will go back to this. So I'm going to leave it on just because I want to make sure I show you guys everything. And another thing you can do is the subscribe button. Now, keep in mind, you're not. Now, I, I said I have a Patreon. If you're going to support my Patreon, it's in the link in the description below. If you guys want to support the Waifu Game Patreon, it will also be in the link description below. And you can subscribe here. And if we do that, you hear some here's some options for you. And based on which tier you like you're going to be able to get certain bonuses like a hotel limit. We'll talk about that later. Energy per day, party formation, Discord role, and 4K cards. 4K most likely resolution based. And you can do something called longer encounters and channel limit. So channel limit deals with like how many channels can you have for the waifu bot, I mean waifu game bot to play with. So you can have up to six if you do the $25 tier. Okay. 
and you can see the what other bonuses here for example increased server limits party formations extra daily bonuses make your voice count high resolution cards 4k discord swag or like the discord area exclamation mark profile and various limits to so make sure and you can also get something called emeralds not related to sonic by the way it is a currency here in the game okay so that's for subscribing to waifu bot waifu game now wish list here's the interesting part now we're going to show you guys how to add somebody to your wish list at the same time since it's here in the profile here's how this works you're going to be able to do add new tags by searching and we're going to look at let's say let's say pokemon let's say that now keep in mind that my my um settings have said anime etchy so as you guys can see here we have already have somebody blurred out and may here is good here the archie number 49 will be able to be clicked clickable and we can add the card to the wish list just like that now to see your wish list all you have to go do is go back to your profile on the left side here or on the web app and you're going to see all the way down and we have our wish list cards so i have two cards on the wish list already number number 315 and number 49. that's how this works for the wish list to view your profile on discord bot on the game go back to your discord going back to discord here and then in order to show your profile I'm going to do it in general exclamation mark profile actually slash WG profile player and your name It's going to bring up your party. It's most likely going to bring up your party. And your party is the only thing that's going to be on your profile at the time. Now, to add additional things, in, that includes the that includes the Patreon. Make sure you have subscribed to the Patreon of Waifu Bot, Waifu Game Bot. Okay? So that's usually the way your profile works. And that is my party right now. All right, that is it for the profile version, profile section of the Waifu Bot, Waifu Game Bot. Next time, we're going to take a look at other mechanics, including the Waifu Bot, Waifu Game Hotel, and showing you guys what else you need to do there. But other than that, that is it. Shout outs to our newest Patreons here on the channel including jimmy dukes gaming and the unfortunate one who joined a few days ago and if you guys want your name on the on this particular screen make sure you guys check out the patreon in the link in the description below for our our gaming yuki and we'll see you guys tonight at 5 15 for our vr chat with roots the bat enjoy y'all